Hi there. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can create database applications with the help of Zoho Creator. Zoho Creator helps you create sample of your data and let you have a full-fledged application for reporting and it takes the pain away from your typical uh, sp spreadsheet work and manual work that goes on to inputting your data. The sample data that we first add into the database will give us idea about how we can go on and forming those database application. So you have to first have a requirement with that sample data. Let's say you are trying to create application for some customer information and you want it to have a form built and let the customer input that data into the form. In such case, all we have to do is first we have to create the application, then we have to create a form, and then we have to share the form with customers. So let's start with the application creation. Go to zoho.com, register over there, and then log into your dashboard. Then you will be presented with the base applications like Creator, CRM, Invoice, and Livedesk. For our current tutorial we are going to use creator this is what we are going to use for our sample data to convert it into the requirements into our final app so in order to create application we have three options which is using from the gallery or importing file or from scratch Importing file works as simple as getting the data from Excel sheet, be it LibreOffice or OpenOffice or Microsoft Excel or Google Docs or even Zoho's spreadsheet application. In application gallery, you will start from the apps that are available in the Zoho Creator Marketplace. So we'll go with the third application here, which is from scratch. First we have to do is give it a name. So let's say we are going to create a simple customer, customer apps acceptance or invoice application. So let's name it. creating it it will present us another dashboard where we can have the fields for the application okay so we have this form we have to just give it a name whenever we want to change something we will do it from form properties let's have it as customer Let's have same name for both sides, and you have this pop up that says you can drag things from here to this form. Okay, we'll go over that. This uh, video tour will explain you how you can do the things like editing form properties, then generating reports or checking reports or creating new ones, and doing the form settings. Okay, so let's close this one. 
now we will start with creating let's say email box so I'm going to have customer email let's also add Let's rename this to something like name. Set default value as no. So there will be no specific value. Validation is, let's make it mandatory. Also make email as mandatory and So type is email already so that's we have email name and another box for inquiry let's name it as product inquiry make it mandatory also have a tooltip message that says please tell us about your requirement and product interest okay so after that what we have is three fields all are mandatory and each one accepts a unique value next thing we have to do is we have to check for report okay so this is what how our report looks like we have name fit email id and mobile or even we can set this up for product so it looks something like this because it is sample so when we have data from customer we'll have it in the reports okay let's go back to the form builder okay so now coming back to the form we will just now save it and publish it let's say if we can publish when you do the publishing it will look something like this now you get an option for embedding this on your blog or in your website's contact page or any other product specific page okay we can also enable email notification where we want to have email from specific domain we can add this from email input email to we can in input our email also subject line and message or you can just type user submitted data so whenever someone fills out a report then email will be sent from input email to the email address in the to field with the subject that you want and then we will just save it to address cannot be empty so let's have something like this uh, we'll have 
admin and Soho admin and user ID. Okay. Then we will just have another user here. Add BCC where we can have okay then we have input or customer inquiry now let's just save it Okay, I just uh, messed it up here. Uh, it should be admin. Okay, and this should be again admin, and two should be from email. This should be from admin. Okay, so let's go back and save once it is saved let's go back to the form builder and let's hit the publish can access this application from the top button okay so this is how it looks and we can input the data something like say hello test at disposable.com name is sample name product inquiry is DVD player let's submit this and then we will go and check our reporting that added successfully okay you can also embed this form on your website all you have to do is just copy this and paste this HTML in your website's HTML page if you're using WordPress or Joomla or Drupal then you have to find the respective contact page or template page and input this HTML into it or you can just have the permalink where users can go and post this data over there now let's go back to our form the form builder will have a reporting system so we just have to check the dashboard okay then on this dashboard go to the reports and then just access it you will have one entry over there okay so one entry is email name and product inquiry information so whatever we have done here is being collected in reports now let's go back and check if the email arrived let's just check if the email has came okay the email is also arrived It requires me to, to type the capture because this is disposable email address site where the information is collected and this is now I don't know why it is something like that but our user data is given an email one email should be given to the user and another should be given to the person who is 
interested in collecting the data so as you can see we have just created one database app with the form and this form allows us to create multiple data inputs like email name product inquiry you can have any other data on this form and you can use multiple fields on the left side and drop it down here and collect the data for this same form so the procedure is something like this whenever you are inside the Zoho creator you have to first create the database app either from scratch or import the data from Excel file or you can create it from marketplace apps once you do that you will be redirected to this form after the direction you will be given a chance to drop these fields and then you will have a working form and you will be able to embed this form on your website or you can just give the link away to your customers so they can fill it up and you can check the data of the customers uh, after submission into the reporting page so reporting page can be accessed from dashboard or you can directly get it from this form as well so if you don't want this database then you can just delete it you can modify the settings or you can access to the previous page that we have done you can also check for the reports from this tab also pages for the our current database okay so it is very easy to use Zoho creator app I'm sure you have found this tutorial helpful if you have any questions feel free to let me know and I will answer your questions via messaging in YouTube or Google Plus or Facebook. I will see you later. Bye.